What's up everybody? Today I'm going to go over the latest changes in WordPress with the release of 4.8. So I'm working on my local desktop over here in a local installation of WordPress. This is how I test the latest updates. I test out themes and plugins first locally before I deploy them to my production websites. All right, so I'm going to go to the dashboard. And since I already updated, I don't see the about page over here. So I'll just go to the URL bar and I'll type out about.php. And that brings back up the welcome to WordPress with the latest version. All right, so let's take a look at some of the changes. The WordPress team has added some user experience enhancements to the widgetized areas. We now have the image widget, a video widget, the audio widget, an enhancement to the text widget, where now we get to do some simple formatting instead of having to hard code some HTML into the widgetized area. So that's pretty cool. They've also updated the way you can edit your links within your post and pages. And since WordPress is so large and there's over 400 cities in the world that has different types of events like meetups or WordCamps, you now have a way to find out what local events are taking place right there within your dashboard. So that's pretty cool. And then if you scroll down further for the developer community, there's some changes as well. The way you handle the admin panel headings, the removal of core support for WMV and WMA files since browsers don't really support them anymore. Some multi-site updates. The customizer is now going to be in a percentage base width versus a pixels base width. And we now have the JavaScript API and the Media Widgets API. So you're going to see a lot of plugin developers taking advantage of some of these latest enhancements. All right, so what does this mean for you, the website owner? And how do these updates compare to some of the popular plugins that exist out there? All right, so let's take a look. I'm gonna go to Appearance and Widgets. I'm gonna scroll down. Well, actually first we have the audio widget area over here. Let's see what that looks like. So you can add an audio file. You have your image widget over here. You have the video widget and you have the text widget right there. All right, so I'm just going to pull out the text widget first over here. You now see you have the ability to do some simple formatting of your content right there within the text widget. So that's pretty cool because if you look back at the older version, you didn't have that formatting. So if you want to do something like bold your text or give it some italic formatting or give an ordered list or numbered list, you would have to hard code that with HTML. Now, that's a feature built right into it. So that's pretty cool. But there's another plugin that I really like using. It's called the Black Studio Tiny MCE and it gives you a visual editor. So let's take a look at that one. So now this gives you a full text editor that's similar to what you have in your post and pages section. You have all the same capabilities in terms of your options to format your content. Now granted, you're not going to do a full blog post in your sidebar, but if you have larger widgetized areas, like say on your home page or your front page, this type of function can definitely come in handy. But if your theme only has the sidebar location for widgets, then this latest update with the simple formatting will do you just fine. All right, so let me delete that. Now let's take a look at how we can handle images. I'm going to take this image widget over here. We can add an image. So you have the ability to give a title and you have the image right there. You can save it. So that's good because before we didn't have that ability built into WordPress, but we did have some plugins that could do that as well. So let's go over here to my other installation. And I had installed a plugin called Image Widget. So if we take this one over here, we have the same type of functionality, but you don't have the ability to add the titles. So you do have that ability with the newest update. You can add a title and the image, but with the older plugin, you don't have that same functionality. All right, so that's definitely a win for the latest update in terms of the image widget that's built into WordPress now. All right, so now let's take a look at the video option. We'll drag that over here. You can add a video. You can either upload one or choose whatever you have on your system, or you can insert via the URL. So I'm going to take one of my videos over here, copy that, paste, add to widget, save. Let's go to the front of the website. I added it towards the bottom section. So this is the image and this is the video that we just added. All right, so that's pretty cool. I like that enhancement. It makes it a lot easier. And now let's go to our dashboard. And you see another section over here, the WordPress events and news. You can take a look at what's taking place near you. And then if you want to go to it, you click on it and it'll take you to the landing page for that particular event. All right, so that's pretty cool. So those are the changes to WordPress 4.8. As always, make sure you back up your website, your database, and your files, and then update to the latest version so you can take advantage of some of the newest features. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe because I'll give you more tips and tricks on how to manage your WordPress powered website. And if you want to support this channel, you can check out my Patreon page. Or if you're in the market for a brand new WordPress theme, you can check out EvoPro. It's my premium theme. 
You can get it from my website, pixamweb.com. I'll leave a link in the description section. And this is the demo for it. It's a fully responsive SEO ready theme. Comes with a lot of features. It's great for business websites, general blogs, photographer based websites. It's a multi-purpose theme. So check it out. It comes with the ability to add sliders to any page or post, the ability to add photo galleries to any page or post. And it comes with a lot of different customization potential for your blog area and page and post formatting. All right. So again, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time. Take care.